Prices doesn't matter when you have millions to throw or you are just die-hard fan of Apple. The statement will not be exaggeration to say. It is the kind of brand loyalty that has people waiting anxiously for new products of Apple. So what makes it so special? Let's find it out. The History of Apple Apple Incorporation is the American multinational technology company that specializes in consumer electronics, computer software, and online services. It is one of the big five American information technology companies. Apple was founded by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne in 1976 to develop and sell Wozniak's Apple I personal computer. It was incorporated by Jobs and Wozniak as Apple Computer Incorporation in 1977 after which sales of its computers, including the Apple II, grew quickly. It went public in 1980 to instant financial success, making Steve Jobs mind-boggling wealthy. Apple started shipping new computers featuring innovative graphical user interfaces, such as the original Macintosh. But soon after, the high price of its products and limited application library caused problems, as did power struggles between executives. Conditions gone worst when in 1985 Wozniak departed Apple amicably, while Jobs resigned to found his different company named Next, taking some Apple co-workers with him, which only increased the problems. As the market for personal computers expanded and evolved through the 1990s, Apple lost considerable market share to the lower-priced duopoly of Microsoft Windows on Intel PC clones. To cater the situation, board recruited Gil Emilio as CEO who prepared the struggling company for eventual success with extensive reforms, product focus, and layoffs. In his 500-day tenure, he soon realized greatest strength of Apple wasn't in technology, but Apple's very own founder, Steve Jobs. So in 1997, Emilio bought Next to resolve Apple's unsuccessful operating system strategy and bring back Steve Jobs, who replaced Emilio as CEO later that year. And the magic begin. Apple returned to profitability under Jobs Think Different campaign, launching the iMac and iPod, opening a retail chain of Apple stores in 2001 and acquiring numerous companies to broaden their software portfolio. In 2007, the company launched the iPhone to critical acclaim and financial success. The Apple was on track, but in 2011, Jobs resigned as CEO due to health complications and died two months later. He was succeeded by Tim Cook, but company continued its growth. In August 2018, Apple became the first publicly traded U.S. company to be valued at over $1 trillion and the first valued over $2 trillion two years later. One survey reveals the brand loyalty for Apple is at an all-time high of nearly 92% in 2020 and now ranked as the world's most valuable brand. As of January 2021, there are 1.65 billion Apple products in use worldwide. Apple is the world's largest technology company, by revenue totaling $274.5 billion in 2020, and since January 2021, the world's most valuable company. As of 2021, Apple is the world's fourth largest PC vendor by unit sales and fourth largest smartphone manufacturer. Today, Apple isn't just manufacturer of smartphones, it has grown as brand and symbol of luxury, where people only says, money doesn't matter. That's it for today, please like the video and subscribe the channel if you find value in this video and comment down your views about Apple.